Hello and welcome to another guided meditation with Priscilla Lightworker or the Atlantean Priestess. My name is Priscilla Campos and I am a healer many, many lifetimes over. Um, I'm a galactic starseed being. I am a queen of Atlantis. And in this particular lifetime, I am driven to help people heal, awaken, and activate. Now, two of my greatest loves is talking about Atlantis and Egypt. And today I'm going to guide you through what's called the Caduceus Empowerment, which I learned through uh, my studies of alchemical healing with Nikki Scully and it's up actually in that book, which is right here. And the Caduceus Empowerment is a wonderful way to bring that power up from our root and our sacral to let it wind through our bodies and help give us the clarity in our third eye that we definitely need, especially for these times. So I have a lot of free content popping up on my YouTube channel right now. A lot of it is about how to shield yourself in light, how to use the Mahatma Golden Energy from Atlantis. Uh, I have some on the Violet Flame, um, one with Sekhmet to eradicate your fears. And this one is more about whenever you need a boost of energy, whenever you're looking for clarity, whenever you feel a little bit lost in who you are, because what I always want to remind people is that you are spectacular. Truly, humans are spectacular. We haven't been taught that. It's been hidden from us. But as we continue to go through what we're going through in this world, we're coming into a really amazing, great awakening that is going to lead us into a new golden age here on Earth. And so in a lot of ways, we're bringing Atlantis back but without its faults, without its deceptions. So, as I mentioned a lot in my meditations, I always suggest you do them in the bathtub, but of course you're free to do them sitting up. You can lay down. Laying down usually makes you fall asleep, but if your spine is straight and you can be relaxed, incredible. Also make sure you have some water nearby for after, just to help shift the energies and bring you back into your body and your journal and your pen. Okay, so we're going to get started. And again, with the Caduceus Empowerment, you can use it every single day if you want. There's no limits to it. And it is something that if you're really enjoying, then get someone to listen with you to it. Okay, so here we go. From Nikki's words, the first time you do this journey, you should be standing if possible. Prepare as you would for any major initiation, making your sacred space, smudging yourself, invoking your allies and guides. Close your eyes, relax, and take some deep breaths. We will again bring in the heart breath as taught by Nikki, putting your hands on your heart. Become aware of your own incredible light. See yourself on the foundation of an ancient island temple. You're barefoot. And right now in this moment, it's just you, Gaia and God. As you connect to Gaia's surface, become aware of everything that you love about the planet, especially those spots in nature. Think about the waterfalls, the animals, the smells, the tastes, all the beauty, all the support, and all the love Gaia gives to us each and every single day. And as you take this breath in, you draw up her beauty, her support, her unconditional love through your legs, past your hips, belly button, and up to your heart, holding your breath. 
allowing it to dance and mingle and twist and float in your heart flame. Release it through your whole body. Again, pulling up the energy from earth, feeling grounded, stable, and supported. Bring it past your feet and knee chakras, your root, your sacral, and your solar plexus, and up into your heart, holding, holding, holding. And when you're ready, release. Now, drawing your attention to the heavens, begin to think about your allies, your guides, your angels, your galactic family, and we pull down the energy from Sophia God, taking a breath in, collecting the wisdom, the connection, the knowingness, the unconditional love, bringing it past our crown, our third eye, our throat chakra, and into the heart. We hold, hold, hold. When you're ready, release that breath into your whole body. Again, a beautiful breath in, putting all that is good and have a high vibration, bring it down through your crown, past the throat, into the heart, mixing and mingling, releasing when you're ready. Now we're going to do both of those at the same time. Pull up from Gaia and down from God, breathe it in. Holding, holding, holding. When you release, release all your cares, all attention, anything you've been holding on to. One more time. Deep breath in, pulling from above and below. As above, so below. As within, so without. As the universe, so the soul. When you're ready, breathe your heart breath out into our world and bless it. Now, listen to my voice. And as you go through these points of the meditation, see, know, or feel. Don't allow your ego to tell you it's, you're making it up. Don't allow it to win. Trust your intuition. Trust your Holy Spirit. Trust your soul. You are standing on the stone foundation of an ancient island temple, surrounded by the flowing waters of the Nile. Tot stands before you, carrying his staff of power, the Caduceus. Two cobras entwine around a central rod with a crystal or diamond orb at the top and wings that extend to the sides. It is a powerful and graceful symbol of balance. And he holds it towards you so that you can clearly see. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with the elements of this staff. As he touches it to your body, you feel the central staff enter and merge with your spinal column. Notice how your back naturally straightens. Directing your attention downward into the earth beneath your feet, become aware of the layers and layers of sacred space where temples were built upon temples each giving renewed consecration to this powerful vortex. Now you become aware of two snakes coming up from the heart of the earth. They hiss as they approach the soles of your feet. And you can begin to feel this energy of the snakes 
two cobras rising up from beneath the stones of a temple. Their hoods gently push to open the eyes in the soles of your feet as they enter into your body. Allow yourself to feel, to see, to imagine, or simply know their presence as they begin to slither their way up through the central meridians in your feet and legs. Notice the sensual way in which they move up through your body slowly. They are cleansing and clearing. They come together and they cross at the first chakra center at the base of your spine, igniting and spinning this glowing center at the root of your being. Take a deep breath as you inhale. Be aware of the cobras as they continue winding upward around the staff of your spine to the second chakra. Every time they slide upwards, they ignite golden energy, awakening every cell. There is a flood of this golden light. It purifies all in its path as it pours through you. Exhale as the cobras intersect at the second chakra. Notice your power, notice your strength, just by calling on these two beautiful snakes. There is an opening and clearing as each chakra and channel fills with liquid light energies as the cobras course upward. All blockages melt. As the energy increases in intensity, Inhale again, allowing the cobras to wind their way up toward the third chakra. And you exhale as they intersect at your solar plexus. Feel a pulse as this third center ignites. Feel the heat, golden light energy coursing through you, awakening you, healing you, empowering you, helping you to shed whatever does not suit the being that you are. Take another breath. And as you inhale, the snakes move upward once again. When you exhale, they will meet in your heart. And in your heart, they inhale and bask in the radiance created from the liquid fire that mingles with your radiant heart fire. They feel the love you have for so many and they remind you, dear child, love yourself just as greatly as you love others, as you love your children your spouse, your parents, your best friend. Have compassion for yourself. As they remain in there, allowing that golden energy to build and to light up. Feel yourself strong, bright, powerful. You take another deep breath in. The snakes are pulled up towards your throat. And as they move, their scales vibrate against your chest, against your esophagus, your larynx. And once they have opened your throat chakra, you feel a release. All the things that you've 
couldn't say at the time it was needed, all the things you wished you didn't say in the heat of the moment are released, are freed. The guilt is gone. Rest in this moment. When you're ready, you take another deep breath in. The snakes enter our head and move carefully up through the inside of your head behind your eyes. They pause. The energy pulses as you release. They are now in your third eye chakra third eye that sees all, that knows all, that has been trying to help you awaken, go deeper into your vision, and trust your guidance. Now the snakes are asking to look through your eyes. And so imagine two snakes, one behind each eye, what do they see? What do they see when you look at yourself in the mirror? What do they see when they look around your home? What do they see in how you perceive our world? Don't hide anything from them. There's no judgment, there's only healing. Now it's time to switch. It is your opportunity to look through their eyes. What is the world they want to show you? How do they see you? Do not be bashful, do not be shy. Allow them to really show you what it is the vision that you need to see today. Stay with this moment until you have achieved the perspective they wanted to show you. Now we're ready to go to our crown chakra. Take a deep breath in. Pull up the snakes and let them intertwine now at the crown chakra. Breathe out. They turn their faces upwards towards the sky and they hiss. And their hiss is like a call from a far distant source, from deep within the center of the universe, the response comes as a rain of grace, the pouring down of a fine spiritual energy, entering your body through your crown, pouring down around you, through you, making everything it touches tingle, every cell and molecule, until it is as though you are standing within a shower of shimmering energy. The cobras move back into your head and take their place on either side of your pineal gland. It is now time to place your attention on your shoulder blades. You will feel your wings begin to sprout and fill with spiritual light. You have beautiful feathers of light rippling with the subtlest of movements, filling with energy. The light comes pouring down your arms and hands. Your arms lift and extend as you feel your wings stretch out 
from the sides. Take a moment, scan your body. What does it feel like to be in the balance of the caduceus? The energies of earth and sky are united within you. Notice the power that moves through you. Put your attention once more on Tot. He now holds a crystal or diamond sphere which he shows to you before placing it in your third eye. It enters and goes to the top of the staff surrounding the pineal gland. And as the energies rain down from above and course up along the staff from below, they intersect in this orb there is a dazzling explosion of light. <sighs> and gradually, your inner sight clarifies. If someone were to see you in this moment, it would seem like you had a lavender glow rising out of the top of your head. You are activated, you are balanced. You are in your full body's empowerment. As you hold your attention in the fullness of this experience, as the essence of joy and the power of love permeates the whole of your being, become aware of how grounded you truly are. Sense yourself in this balance. Be in gratitude that this initiation is completed. Continue to stay with your feelings and integrate this experience into your being. In this moment, the caduceus empowerment is complete, but there's a lot of evolution that comes from making this a daily or weekly practice. The balance and power conferred with its strength will become more consistent as you integrate and retrain your body and spirit through practice over time. The more you do it, the more it naturally lives within you. Take a deep breath. Remember how powerful you are, how strong and wise you are, and how infinite you are. A huge thank you to Nikki Scully for her work, her life's work, for the book, Alchemical Healing, to all my teachers who've helped me get to where I am and for you for listening to me and helping me guide you, allowing me to guide you. You can find more information on my classes, on my offerings, on my teachings at PriscillaLightWorker.com. And you can also find me on Instagram at The Atlantean Priestess. My prayers, my love, my light are with you. Thank you for spending this time with me. Be sure to write in your journal and I'm sure we will connect again with love.